Hello amazing people on YouTube and in today's video I will be showcasing you how to get some money early game. As you can see we started with as now we just start a brand new game. And well, with every start we wanna get as much money as we can. So we can get some more food, so we can get some more troops, you know? And get better equipment than what we have. Well, see we have um nothing great. So, a lot of uh, ways to get money early game will play on, well, the determine about how you want to play. There is stuff like arena, quests, hunting bandits, being a bandit, pretty much a lot of ways. But I will just showcase you a few ways that worked pretty well for me. So, let's get into it. Said one of the very first things we'll talk about is arena. So I'll see you when we get to a place that has a tournament. Alright, and we're back. The Lucky and Lycron had a tournament. So let's look what we have here. Bladed Trap Van Braces. Nope. We'll participate in it because we need that equipment. But if it was something like a one handed weapon and we weren't Interested in it, we could sell it and get some more money. So, let's participate in this and see how many uh, fights we can win or if we can win at all. Another cool thing with a tournament that you can do besides winning the prize is bet the money. See, if we win, we're gonna get 600 back and we only bet it 150. So, I will see you. At the end, once we win this tournament. Alright, we're back. We're not no, win just yet, but as you can see, we betting. I'm just better more, but our current turn for win is not as big as when we're at the first part. But we only bet at 600, and if we win, we're gonna get 1650. So let's go out and win this tournament so we can get more money. You can see we have one. Not only did we get our plated ship van braces, but we earned 1650. So we earned profit of, well, let's see how much. So we started at 1000 dollars. We earned a profit of 1050. That's how much we gained. That is pretty good. And if we needed the van braces, we earned another 956. Getting us to Almost 2,000 from that tournament. But since we need them, we're gonna wear them. There's tournaments that have horses as uh, prizes. You can get, unfortunately, you can't see here, but you can get a horse that I believe, if I pronounce it right, probably won't, with our hot blood. It will be able to sell for over 10 grand, or Asalat Saglid, probably mispronounced that. Uh, and other horses, or even a camel that might not sell for much, but it will get you a lot more money. Let's look for another tournament. See, maybe uh, we'll get lucky with a horse. But if not, I'll keep looking until we get a tournament with a good horse as a tournament prize. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, welcome back people. It took me a lot longer than I would have liked to find a tournament that had a bit tiny thoroughbred or just any horse. I did hire some men because she didn't want to uh, be paying off bandits or trying to sneak around them, so I just bought some uh, troops and bought some food. That's why we're a bit lower on money. But, get back to this, but Tiny Thoroughbred will sell for a lot of money if we participate. And, well, we will, because we need money. Right, the sentiment, as you can see, is decently huge. So we'll just keep betting and see how much money we're going to get from bets and how much money we're going to get from selling the stores. So I'll see you at the end of the tournament. Alright, welcome back peeps. As you can see, we have won. We earned, well, 1560 and we got a Britannia Thoroughbred. So, let's see how much money we're going to get from it. We came in with around 800 uh, gold or dinars. We gain 
little less than a thousand dinars from winning the tournament. But that's not where a lot of the money will come from. A lot of money will come from selling this horse. That is 7,760 more dinars. So if I saw that, I'll put us at almost 10,000. To allow us to buy some better equipment. You know, so we can do some more battles. Right? Um, next up will be quests. Some of the quests are worth doing, some are not. Uh, like this one, not really. Um, if on the screen somewhere, I will show the list that I like to do uh, with the quests and, and which ones I think are worth it, uh, which are not. Some are, some aren't, some take a little too long, some are easier than others. Alright, so let's look around and see if we can find a decent quest for us to do that is quick. Actually, before we get to that, there were some was that a grade that require hideout. They're usually from a gang leader, which will say something like, uh, help me get my associates, right? It'll pay 3,000 dinars. Another version of a quest that will, will hideout is from a town or small village that will say, uh, band the base near so-and-so, right? Uh, I believe it's just on the phone village, my apologies. Uh, they'll say like band base near, let's say it was Jer Jerichos, right? And you do this hideout, and guess what? You get 3,000 more dinars. That is huge, you know? For a small hideout where you get 3,000 dinars and whatever it had. That is not bad, right? Um, but, if you don't like doing quests, or you think they're just a little boring, there are another way you can get some money, but um, we'll go get back to quest. Now the Chandler overpriced for materials at the Carbenza, not really no worth it. Let's see if this town, or this village, will have something that we can do. Is he out of trade? Mm, it's not bad. I just don't prefer to do it, personally. And now it's the same thing, I don't prefer to do it. Not all quests are bad, you know. Some are better than others, as I said, but everybody has their preference. Those new draws animals just mm, not my style. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but there are good ones. Oh, another good quest will be gang leader needs weapons. Well, no. Right. Um. Should require four pieces of one-handed axes. It can be more, it can be less. You no, know? and if we bring it to it, it will cost a show give us two thousand one hundred and eighty dinars. Right? A quick way to get some of those axes would be through fighting looters, which unfortunately I did not do. What you can do, since she needs four, is buy some of this. <coughs> yes, it will cost you some money. The next example will be seven hundred and thirty, but I'm gonna get a nice chunk back and get a nice profit. But if you've been fighting looters, which is really nice at the start, you're gonna get a bunch of those one hand axes. One hand axes could be, you see, the hatchets, um, sickles count, and some of the smaller. Just make sure you look at where it says class one hand axes. Keep those. Other um, weapons or um, Armor um, from looters that you get, you can sell, but just keep one hand axes until you don't feel like doing that quest. And the amount that of um, axes that she requires, what he requires, will determine how far you are into the game. Right? Um, but let me go back to that hideout and show you that quest that is pretty easy and quick to do. Alright, welcome back. I got lucky and I didn't have to go super far to get this head out. And we had to check around the towns, see which one had the quest. Luckily, it was in Plague Ban. So, as you can see, this guy has a quest for us. Bandit Base near Plague Ban. Peace to you, stranger. Right. We'll talk to him. He'll give us some of the stuff. I like to do it myself because I don't have to wait for five days. I can easily do it pretty quick, right? So, we'll take that. Luckily, while looking around, I saw another good quest that 
It's pretty good. Is extortion by the others at whatever place. It's really good. You do need some more troops and uh, some other quests, but it is pretty good. Um, but yeah, let us go to hideout and clear it out. Hopefully we can. Oh, no. Well, looks like we will be able to. Uh, I will see you after this battle and after I clear out that hideout. So, be right back. Alright, welcome back. Unfortunately, it took a little bit longer because I sustained a lot of damage. But for the hideouts, uh, I like to take ranged units. You know? As well, they can kill enemies at range. Let's take them in and, well, we'll send them out. Number two, enable them fire at will. And if you want, you can send them into charge. We'll go along with them. Um, while we're doing this, if you enjoy this type of stuff, please leave a like, comment, and if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. That helps a lot. It may not uh, mean much to you, but it means a world to me. I'm hoping to well, maybe get to 100 uh, subscribers by the end of this month, which... Uh, maybe we won't achieve that, but I'm hoping we will. You see, my archers have been doing a great job at uh, maybe not killing enemies at range, but at least damaging them so I can finish the job. Oh, that was a miscalculation on my part. Also, the hideout setup. And uh, which enemies they have, and the boss will be determined by um, the type of the hideout that you're fighting. This one is a Mount Bandit. The forest uh, bandits will look different. Some of the Sea Raiders, Desert Bandits, and um, a regular Aluda hideout will all look different and all have different boss that will use different weapons and have different troops in that. Um, my favorite ones will be, well, Desert Bandit because the boss uses a uh, two-handed halberd, I believe is the name, and, well, he swings pretty decently slow, not super slow, but you can get a hit or two on him before he strikes you down. But, with that comes another challenge, because he will, if you manage to get a hit, he will hurt and hurt you pretty decently. So be careful when fighting him. Also the amount of troops in the hideout well, will determine how long you have to fight, obviously. And you can see it as you enter hideout, the little squares right below the name will determine how many troops they have on there. Obviously the more of those squares, the more troops you have to fight. This one wasn't too bad, there's only 11 enemies, oh sorry, 10. I've seen hideouts with up to 18 and 20 enemies in there. Obviously that took a little longer and there was a little more risk fighting them because I had more risk of getting hurt. But don't worry if you are unable to complete this hideout because the boss just uh, smacks you around or the enemy smacks you around. The hideout will still be there for uh, you to do later. You might have the quest if you take too long, but the hideout will be there. The last guy. And then we'll be fighting the boss. You see, we are done. The boss will hopefully appear here. <coughs> How you fight him doesn't really matter. Well, it kind of matters because if you duel him, you will have more prisoners. Due to those three. Become your prisoners, but if you don't want to or you just don't think you can win, you can always just, I don't fight the uh, duel with them. But, we will do him. Because, well, I believe we can win. So, as you can see we won't unfortunately we kill them, but, well we only got one prison unfortunately. But, that's not true because we got no if they were behind an S prison so So we got six prisoners and Right now we have 11k. And we got some cool stuff. Oh look. Some better stuff from where? 
Right. Now, as you can see in the bottom left, we got a nice amount of charm and 3,000 dinars. Those quests are spread around, so that's how you get some of the money. Just remember, are we in a tournament about bidding on yourself? And prizes will help you get money. Some prizes are great, some are not. Questing. Hopefully, I will show a list of quests that I like to do um, on the screen right now. And doing the hideouts. Get you some money with questing. But once you've done all of that and you reach clan level 1, and you become a mercenary, the best way to get money is getting influence and to do that you can still do arenas because that will get you pretty influence uh getting rid of the looters the bandits will get you some money but even better way is fighting the armies because not only are you going to get more influence you're going to get more prisoners you're going to get more skills and you're going to get a lot of loot that you can sell for more money so let's quickly run out to uh, Bagheera and we will sell our prisoners. The amount of money that you get per prisoner is determined on their tier. Um, some are worth it, some are not. For example, uh, I believe looters are your lowest tier, so they will sell for 5 dinars, while some of the higher tier troops will sell for a lot more. And here we have 8 prisoners, we have 1 uh, tier 4. 4 tier 2s and 2 tier 3s. But should we get a little bit of money? Since we only got 272. Each brigand will get us 25. Each hillman, for tier 2, get us only 12. No? But... Each uh, highwayman get us 87. Then being tier 4, there was so for a lot more. Boom, we got 272 dinars, which might not mean much, but well, it all stacks up. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one, which, well, if you're interested or not, will be an RP playthrough. I'll be doing RP playthrough with another hopefully video about something. Oh, I am planning to hopefully soon do a little bit of content on DayZ. If you enjoyed that game or want to see it, Sooner, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, well, I hope you have a great time. And, well, stay awesome, people. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.